Hey guys, what's up here? Welcome to my another video on augmented reality. Today we are going to learn how to make virtual buttons and add animations for your augmented reality app. Okay guys, I have opened my previous project. So if you want to know how I made this, please check out my previous video. The link is in the description below or click the i button on the top. Once you are done till here, we will add animations to our object. For doing that, go to Windows, then Animation and Animation or simply press Ctrl plus 6. Click on Create to create a new animation. Name it anything you want. Then click on Save. Once you are done, click on Record button. Now we want our model to rotate 360 degree on its place. So go to Animation panel and scroll down. Click on the time of your choice. For now, I have selected 5 seconds. Now go to the rotation and insert the degree till which you want your model to rotate and press play button on the animation panel to see how it looks. You can see that the rotation speed varies at some point. In order to change that click on the curves and then you can see the curve it makes. It is not linear. So right click on the point and under both tangents select linear. Do the same for the another point and there you go. You can see a linear rotation. If you are ok by the animation, then press play button and bring your image target in front of the camera. If you see your model rotating the way you wanted it to, then you have completed the first part, which is adding animation to the object. Now for the second part, go to the image target and click on advanced and add virtual button. You will see a bluish type box. Place the virtual button on the image target where there are more feature points so that your detection works smooth. Here my image target has more feature points on the center. Right click on virtual button and add a chord from 3D objects. Rotate the chord on its X axis by 90 degree. Right click on project panel and choose material under create. Material is used to give color and some visual information to user. Give it a color of your choice. Now go to image target and click on add components and type VB button. Just follow along and I'll explain you the code later. In public game object, you are going to call the virtual button and on public animator you have to call the animation which we made for our model. Just to check our button is working or not, we will write debug.log. Anything which is written under the parenthesis in debug.log log is printed as a comment. Now 
go to Unity and drag your virtual button and 3D model to its respective places. In the function on button press, the animation name which is under the course will be called and the same will be applied for on button released. Now click on model and then open animator by going to windows, animation and animator. There you can see animation name for your 3D object. Just right click there and create a new animation by clicking on create state and empty. Then rename it as none. Again right click on it and set is at default state. So whenever you press play button then the default animation for your object will be none. What our code does is it finds the image target. Once the image target is found it checks whether the virtual button is pressed or not. If the virtual button is pressed, then it plays the rotation animation which is called under on button press. And when we take our hand off the button, it goes to default state which is no animation state which is called under on button released. Once you are done till here, just press the play button and check if everything is going well. Then build the app and you are done. Congratulations, so you have completed the part 2 of this video series. If you guys have any doubt or any queries related to it, just ask it in the comment section below. Hope you guys like this video. If you learn anything from it, then don't forget to press like, share and subscribe. Thank you.